have you been through a time where you feel that uh, God's not uh, concerned about us or you know times where you feel uh, our prayers are not being answered or where you feel you're tired and nothing's happening around you well i want to tell you uh, that god is very much concerned about your situation not just concerned he's not just compassionate but his compassion moves him to work into your life when we turn to scriptures in Mark chapter 8 verse 1 he says in those days when again a great crowd had gathered and they had nothing to eat he called his disciples to him and said now they had nothing to eat the bible says he called his disciples to him and said to them i have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now 3 days and have nothing to eat you see the crowd was following jesus for 3 days that means they were continuously continually following him they did not leave him in midway to go and meet their needs they did not go uh, go back home they were just stuck on they were con they were continuously walking with jesus for 3 days and that's why jesus was moved with compassion why because though they may have been in need yet they continued to follow him three continuous days and it says the bible says and they had nothing to eat so maybe the first day they may have had a tiffin with them you know they must have had some packed lunch the second and third day maybe everything was exhausted and there was nothing left to eat and that's what the bible says jesus knew they had nothing to eat and he was compassionate towards them and says i'm not going to send them back hungry i'm not going to send them away and he says in verse 3 if i send them away hungry to their homes they will faint on the way and some of them have come from far away he says if i send them they may faint you see jesus was not just compassionate he was concerned about their situation but the key to it all is that they continued following him for 3 days you know if you are continually seeking jesus if you are a follower of jesus if you love god with all your heart and if you are seeking him knowing that he alone can satisfy your desires if you are a person who is a seeker of god i want to tell you he's compassionate over you he's not just compassionate but he is moved to move into your situation let me say that again if you are continually seeking after him following him building your relationship with him i want to tell you he's he's not just compassionate towards you he's moved to move in your situation hallelujah and that's what he tells his disciples i am unwilling i am unwilling to send them away hungry i will not send them away hungry i will not send them away without meeting their need i will not send them away without answering them today i want to encourage you who's watching maybe you're going through different needs of life maybe you're going through different situations but if you are if you are a seeker of god if you are a seeker of jesus if you are continuously seeking him following him building your relationship with him he will not disappoint you because he's the same yesterday today day and forever if he worked a miracle 2000 years ago if he could multiply the loaves and the fish he can still do it today for you if he could heal the blind and raise the dead he can still do it over your life i want to encourage you who's watching today be encouraged know for sure he is compassionate don't let discouragement take over you don't let fears and negativity take over you be encouraged be of good cheer have faith because he is a compassionate god and he will meet you at your point of need he was unwilling to send them away the same way he is unwilling to send you away without touching you without touching you at your point of need he is still the same i want to tell you run after him build your walk with him you will not be disappointed